Hi, in iOS 16, you can expand Swift UI text fields to go beyond a single line. So in this video, we look at how that works. To demonstrate how this works, we will use the Xcode simulator and not the preview. So we can hide the preview by pressing Alt Command and Enter. Let's run the app to see what we have so far. I will type in the text field. So as the text goes beyond the field, it scrolls horizontally. In iOS 16, we can make the text scroll vertically by expanding the text field. In the code, you can see we have a text field. So to do this, we can pass another parameter in the text field called others and set it to vertical. So here I will add the others parameter and set it to vertical. Then run the app again. I will then begin to type. So you can see our text expand vertically. To limit the number of lines we want to use for the text field, we can pass the line limit modifier. So let's pass it here. For example, let's set it to 4 and run it again. If I begin typing, it will then expand to only 4 lines and then the text will begin to scroll vertically. This is not the only thing you can do with the text field. We can customize it more. For example, let's run the app again. By default, it still shows a single line. Anytime we run the app, the text field shows as a single line. We can customize this appearance so that it shows as a multi-line text field. To do this, we can pass another parameter to the line limit called reserve space. So let's add it here. Reserve space is Boolean, so we can set it to true or false. I will set it to true. When I run the app again, it will show as multi-line, so the text field now shows as four lines instead of a single line. So if I keep typing, it will take four lines before the text starts scrolling vertically. Another customization we can perform on the text field is to set minimum and maximum for the line limit. Now we have it set as 4, but we can pass a range to set minimum and maximum. If we set range for the line limit, we cannot use the reserve space parameter. So let's remove it and set the minimum range to be 3 and the maximum to be for example 6 and then run the app again. So by default, we now have three lines text field. With this, we will end here. So this is how multi-line text works here inside SwiftUI and iOS 16. Thanks for watching this video.